We have only one doubles in the pool. Um, I'm not too sure about Mufasa's skill set, but I know Chives, it, well, he's pretty comfortable in a lot of things as long as it's cheatable twists. Foot speed is his game. <laughs> but he gets rid of Wyke's dog ball, perhaps because anticipating some weirdness gimmicks. Re and S23 gone. That is, that is fair. That is not something I want to be playing <laughs> uh, first thing in the morning. Uh, but we get a reroll. A reroll um, from Chives. <laughs> he says, I'm not progressing in this tournament. <laughs> but uh, he's still going to put on a good showing, I'm sure. But he, I, he's perhaps looking at these charts, seeing Just Hold On S21, and being like, I, I don't see a universe where I score well on this chart, given how twisty the second half running is. Even at the BPM, that's kind of like on the slower end. It's very, it can be very twisty. Um, but there, he chooses Clematis Repsodia S22 as the the first chart, um, and then second we're going to see sec. Oh, oh, sorry, Clematis Repsodia will be second, but Just Hold On will be first. Right. Uh, I believe Mufasta, as the higher seed, gets to choose what the first song will be after Chives chooses. So we're going to see Just Hold On first. Clematis Repsodia second. And as tiebreaker, if we get to it, we will be jumping into a doubles. Dennis D22. Uh, but there, the, um, just like last, uh, the last round, we are going to get uh, see a warm up from both players. Uh, I, I believe they get to play a singles together. Uh, yeah, so you can see that we have Mufasta from Hawaii, Expert One. Um, not sure if XX or Phoenix. Um, and then Chibes from New York, Advanced 10. So <laughs> you could say their titles are very close to each other, but, or and then you can say, well, if that's uh, Double X, Expert One, that is a, a lot of 24s. And knowing Chibes, he 24 is where he puts his limit. Um, where he can, he has a couple, but working his way up to the others, it very much becomes a huge stamina ask and everything. But while they get their warm up, I, I believe uh, Beans, aka J Kim, is hopping on commentator with me. Oh. Gotta get that mic real close. Oh, uh, still cutting out for me. Yeah. If you had to... This one up. Oh, okay. There, there we go. go. Now there I'm gonna put it away. Hey, hey, hello. How are you feeling? Uh, man, that sucks. Hey, so, hey, so um, <laughs> yeah, I was just waiting for my hair to cool off because I didn't want to get the headset wet with my sweat. So trying to brush off, dry as much as I can for, uh, you know, overall flexibility of the headset. Uh, yeah. You got a good, you got a good run. And we'll be seeing you again. <laughs> I, ha I have, I have, I'm still in losers, apparently. You're, yeah, it's double elimination. So yep. we're going to be seeing you again. Um, but, I mean, how did you feel about the set overall? I mean, what was your thought process? I was process, slipping a strategy? lot. Like, yeah. way more than usual. I see. It's just because of the nature of my shoe. But what's really interesting is that a lot of people have been saying that their shoes are too sticky for the pads. Too so it's sticky? a complete opposite for me. Okay. So then the baby powder's been going around. Uh, yeah, um, yeah I, I noticed, um, I think Friday night, just like playing doubles, uh, I did find myself kind of slipping on the outer panels when I was trying to like push myself back to the center. Instead of pushing, I would like feel my foot sliding on the panel. Right. Like it just wouldn't connect and like find that grip. Yeah, but overall, I think the modding, the modding that we did to the past before the tournament is overall a good job. Okay. So uh, anyway, with regards to what's going on right now, uh, we got Mufasta on P1 currently and Chives on P2. Chives really grinding out those 23s recently. And Mufasta, a uh, player from Hawaii, who generally uh, he's just been showing out consistent scores throughout uh, the tournament year for Pump It Up. And it says Expert 1 here. I'm inclined to believe that it's Expert 1 for XX, because I'm not exactly sure if Hawaii has Phoenix yet. Although I have heard that maybe there was like a mall in Hawaii that did have Phoenix. Cannot confirm, but if right now, uh, if you, regardless of whether or not it's Expert 1, XX, or... Uh, Sorry, Phoenix. Uh, Mufasa's top achievements cannot be topped. <laughs> it's really, uh, you can see the differing playstyles even on their warm ups. Kai's opting to 
try to double step as much as possible. Uh, Mufasta on the left, uh, really getting in those hip twists. So getting into the set uh, for Just Hold On, uh, I think this is a great warm-up. You have these nice just slow... Just Hold On? Yeah, Just Hold On S21 As first. a warm-up? Well, I mean, no, this, this oh, okay, as warm-up okay. for Just Hold On. This is a great yeah. choice. Um, so we're just gonna, just gonna quickly see. Um, for Mufasta, because in my opinion, Twist is pretty derivative of Run, actually. So if you're able to do Twists well, then generally... Maybe he's not as good at uh, straight up ahead of runs because that's kind of what he says on his weakest skill. Yeah, wow. it, it is interesting to see twist is highest but run is weakest. Yeah, so for just hold on, that'll actually come into play a lot because more often than not, you're actually on your side as opposed to doing straightforward runs in terms of like stamina. So you'll see a lot of backwards twists with the blue and the, with the blue yellows and the red yellows. Isn't it a single? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. A higher seed gets to choose which side they play on. Bustig gonna take a lot of time. Takes player two. So yeah, um, again, good stuff to guns, actually. Insane accuracy throughout the entire match. Yeah, Unfortunate yeah. for the bad apple hold drops, but aside from that, definitely would have had me beat regardless because of how well he's able to act completely the beginning. My great count was like double, triple what his was. So, uh, oh, I, yeah, we're, yeah, I was commentating about, uh, well, both for the, not for Bad Apple, actually, yeah, for all of them. I was worried about, because they're such stream heavy charts for the entire set, it really came down to who can avoid great streams more. Right. And I think it's very easy for those differing BPMs to rush. Yeah, uh, especially playing at a high level right off the bat. Yes. Yeah. I was surprised that you went for the bracket foot switching in Jutsu. Um, I have no drill confidence. I think I even listed yeah, drill you listed as, like, as my your weakest, weakest skill. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, given that it's center blues, do yeah, you think it would have been a, a matter of rushing or just like locking up or? Um, well, I mean, I just don't have experience with it. Okay. I think Witch Doctor Double Nineteen is like that, that shit. That paradox is easier. <laughs> the Twenty Eight. But anyway, let's get into let's just get hold into on. For the most part, uh, there's going to be an intro 24th no drill right before the break section. So it'll be really interesting to see how these players both yeah, play against that. There's another instance where we could see a bracket foot switch or we can see uh, just pure drill foot speed. Both are viable at this uh, at the speed that the chart goes. Right. You guys will see a lot of bracket foot switches for those who are not good at drills on the center blues and doubles. But it also is a skill that is applied in singles with uh, specifically the red and uh, red and yellow. It's just because that's more of an ergonomic way to charge something. Here it comes. All right, both players leaning in. Mufasa actually opting to heal it, only Ooh. netting one miss, couple of goods, but overall. Really solid accuracy. It really pays off for his center of gravity to be pushed upwards for him to be able to heal both buttons. Now, Tuck's picking up a little bit more wider of judgment distribution throughout this intro section, but it, uh, we have a very okay, long Okay, Chives is going to have to cheat this section. That's fine. You, I think it's better to catch your breath and save as much as you possible for the run because... That's right. Well, we're just starting the set, and it, you have to decide now if you're going to go all out or if you're just going to give this one. It is very hard, I think, uh, to kind of like cheat your way through by double stepping this uh, run that's coming up very soon. And here we go. A couple of staircases are going to be introduced here, but you're going to see that there's going to be a really weird side anchor right here. There. Yeah, there's that's going to be a very frequent. It's going to be another one right about here. A lot of backside crossovers. We can see Mufasta opting for them and types going for the cheating strat. Uh, the backsides like are going to come stepping. up here. Yep. A lot of like these sort of like corkscrew twisting kind of motions where you can really use your hips for it. Uh, and you can see Chives, aware of the chart, knows that he needs to go for it. Oh, but trying to cheat that Emron at the end actually got him a lot of goods and bads. Both players still made it with full life bar, but uh, yeah, it seems like... Another nice. drill section here. Mufasa yet again opting to push himself forward. Oh, with the heals. Both players survived. Yeah, I would but, uh, have to say, based off the life bar, this one goes to Mufasa, actually. And just the, the timing of the judgment windows throughout the entire chart. I think right. there are a lot of instances. Yeah, we see Chives. Uh, Excellent S on the S21 right there. The great count was 99 versus 18 here. Um, so all else aside, you know, that that's a significant difference in Phoenix scoring. It really hurts. 
you can attest to that yourself. <laughs> you feel it. it it's kind of absolutely while you're playing too. You can you can see the grades and you're like, no. Yeah, oh. because the stakes become way higher. Yeah. A lot of people have been using that as an argument to say that they've changed the scoring system and scoring uh, judgment window for this game. A lot yeah. of people are starting to realize the importance of seeing that great, almost treating it like a miss, which I, it should because greats are really, really impactful. Yeah, I mean, weighting-wise, greats are worth 0.6 of the value of a perfect. That's right. And then it's even though it's like literally just one step down. So I, I think coming from combo-based scoring and seeing life bar not really coming in as a factor when you're right. seeing your greats, it's very different. Um, perhaps a compromise is like 0.8 the value for greats, but I think given the wide timing windows pump already has, they're like, whatever, you shouldn't even be getting greats. Yeah. <laughs> Just perfect everything, and there's no problem. So not just about Sodia. Um, so, honestly, uh, oh, from my perspective, in regards to chart knowledge, this chart really only gets rough at the end. Maybe a little bit scary, but I, honestly, if you're at a pro division, you'd be able to hit those hold taps. Where, yeah, uh, yeah. But then it'll come down to a lot of goods and bads are going to probably appear in the 24th run section. And also, mm, yeah. it's really ambiguous what part you start the bracket stream at the end, but we'll talk about it when we get there. For now, a lot of just basic bracket tech is looking like Chives, honestly. Honestly, he's looking like a little bit more confident in this one. Yeah. Single, his singles brackets are, are solid. And uh, he can treat this as rest. Yeah, but don't count Mufasa out. You can see his footwork aiming right for the sensors, actually. Really impressive. Ooh, but yeah, you can see Chives not, does not want to twist these. And that's netting some greats and a few bads even, or a miss. Not sure which. I wonder if he's trying to stockpile some energy in order yeah. to get in there with the runs. Trying to, instead of opting to mash through it, actually play that speed. But. But now he's looking at Mufasa's score and being like, oh, I, I need to actually... <laughs> yeah, it's looking like that. Maybe uh, this section is really tough because if you rush those brackets, then you're going to eat a lot of misses for no reason. And in this kind of game, misses are really impactful, obviously, right? But especially not when you feel like you deserve to hit it. Look at Mufasa's accuracy going into this, though. Not only the combo, but just a lot of perfects across the board. Yeah, Mufasa is looking really good for this ending. Honestly, if Chive still wants a chance to get this, he's going to need to hit that speed section and know exactly when the bracket part is coming and be able to hit the rolling brackets. These are We're just going to have to see. Holds. Look at Chive's full, setting, full sending it. Look at the flare cam. After that M run. Okay, Chive's hitting the brackets with his left foot, Mufasa with his right. Both Might players have cost made it. Him. Both players made it. Based off the they charting, it looks really Yeah, it's looking like you needed to actually use your left foot. So Chives had the right yeah. idea for this yeah. chart in yeah. terms of the step creator's intention. And we're seeing oh. the great count again. <clears throat> Once again, coming 21. into play, Mufasa just absolutely crushing it accuracy-wise right before yes. the madness towards the end. 